So here's Microsoft. Immersive virtual reality headsets and motion controllers. Exactly two weeks from today, on October 17th, the Fall Creators update to Windows 10 will be available. Yeah, nobody cares. Not really. Those devices are still pretty expensive. They don't have very good resolution. Not yet, anyway. Not compared to what they should if it's supposed to be something that makes you feel immersed. And, you know, they're heavy. Most people who have tried them can only wear them for about 15 minutes and then they, they get a headache or they get a, a, some neck pain or whatever. So, and as far as, oh, the, the fall uh, creators update, a big fucking deal. You're not doing anything to, to help the desktop. And desktop is where most people do most of their computing. And on that same day, you'll be able to experience these gorgeous devices. Ooh, ah. How about giving people the functionality they had back with Windows 7? How about bringing back, you know, Windows Movie Maker? How about bringing back something as simple as a decent photo viewer, you know, instead of the pile of crap that you have now? How about making the desktop work better than it does now? How about something like that? Oh no, look, look at Edge, look at Edge, and these beautiful devices. A perfect pairing an unrivaled experience. An experience not available on anybody else's platform. It's about to sound like a Steve Jobs kind of presentation. Check it out. Just open the box, plug it into your PC, and it just works. Now, it would be strange if Apple and Microsoft sort of traded places, but I doubt it. I, I don't think Microsoft has... Uh, uh, this is not the, the wave of the future. Not until they get these headsets down to a smaller size, not as heavy. Something that people can wear for a long time. And not until Microsoft, you know, has a virtual world, a virtual setup, that's worth going to. Windows Mixed Reality starts with a home. Like any home, you can personalize and decorate your cliff house. Looks like a really cheap place made from free things on Second Life. Now, as you can see, I can move around physically by walking. Each step I take in the physical world corresponds to the same step in the virtual world. Oh great, so you can fall over your chair or a table or run into the wall. I can just point to where I want to go and as soon as I let go, boom, I'm there. Here, there, everywhere. Now let's take a look at what's on this side. I have my beautiful Paint 3D app. Let's spend hundreds of dollars so we can use an app that you normally use on your desktop. I have this surreal painting with little butterflies. Dog and butterfly. And I have this, the, the weather app. Looks like it's 62 and sunny here in beautiful San Francisco. Ooh, you can view 2D apps in 3D space. Now, this is the same weather app that runs on my PC, my HoloLens, my Xbox, and my tablet. This is the beauty of our universal Windows platform. The beauty of a weather app. And all the other crappy apps you have on the universal Windows platform. Windows Mixed Reality allows you to customize your home with more than 20,000 applications. Ooh, I can put up 20,000 crappy applications on the walls and in, in, on some little flat plane somewhere in this virtual home that you can't modify the textures of or modify the construction of or any of that either. Neat. Things like Paint 3D, this picture, or the weather. <laughs> <laughs> it just, I'm sorry, how can you make a big deal about this? How can you make this, oh, this is revolutionary! People have been doing shit like this on Second Life since, what, when, when did that come out? 2006? No, it came out even before then. I joined it in 2006, so 2004? 
Ooh. You know, as far now they're not actual apps. They were websites, web pages that you can put on your walls or whatever. But uh, I mean, come on. Now, fortunately, in my cliff house, the weather in view are always beautiful. So you think people are going to go through all of that just so they can use an app? <laughs> So here you'll see my Microsoft to-do to, to do list. Remember to have fun, check. <laughs> um, introduce the world to first ever spatial operating system, check. Reminds me of one of those company meetings you, you're required to go to and they give you this pep talk that doesn't make anyone any more excited about anything. All right, here you see my LinkedIn, here you see my calendar. You've never multitasked like this before. Space is limitless in myth reality. Um, yeah, it has. It's called multiple desktops, something that's been available on Linux and Unix systems since they had GUIs. We've made it magical for you to navigate between applications. Oh, magical now, huh? Um, notice that none of the apps are the desktop apps that most people use. They're all the UWP crap that, you know, uh, is like turning your computer into a phone. And you've seen me teleport to different places in the house by simply pointing to where I want to go. But we've also invented this other feature called Snap to App. Now you can always jump to the perfect position in front of any application you want. Fripperies, that's all this is, it's all fripperies. Success! I have a ride in one of dozens of environments inside of Altspace. Now, I invited a few friends of mine to come and hang out with me in this environment and share the stage. The video for Money for Nothing by Dire Straits had better graphics than this. <laughs> Hi, Alex. How do you like your burgers? Hmm, virtual. <laughs> I have to say, I really love this promise of communications and mixed reality. It's just amazing that we can feel like we're in the same place, but I'm in Redmond and you're down there in San Francisco. Oh, it's just so convenient. It's so much better than actually seeing someone's real expressions in a video chat. <laughs> what do you think about us having all of our meetings here in Altspace? Well, we certainly can give it a shot. <laughs> even, even in this, the guy's hesitant. Well, I guess we can give it a shot. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Hi, team. We're so inspired by the community that is Altspace VR. I don't really need to say much more. This is... This is dumb. It's dumb. Sorry guys, it's dumb.